Hey gang, this is Mike my, with my Real Estate Dojo. And today's lesson is about willingness to suffer. So again, the lesson is about this theory that I have called willingness to suffer. So what does that really mean? Okay. Let's take an example. The average person is not willing to drive to the gym, allocate 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour to work out X times a week because not only does it take time, not does it only take resources to get there, but more importantly, it takes a lot of pain and suffering because when you go work out, you know, you're sore. When you're working out, there's pain. The next few days, there's pain. Um, so there's a lot of discomfort with it. But on the flip side of it, there's so much benefit from it. There's all kinds of health benefits from it where, where it decreases cholesterol level all the way down to decreases. Uh, sorry, this guy almost had to hit me, so I lost track. But working out has a lot of health benefits from decreasing diabetes, uh, increasing your testosterone. Um, releasing dopamines and serotonin to make you feel good to all kinds of other aspects that we don't even understand because you know humans level of understanding no matter if you have a PhD because as we learn things change so that willingness to suffer which means going to the gym and working out will, will not only give you health benefits it'll give you mental benefits but at the same time it'll transform your body to having rock solid uh, muscle uh, same thing happens to business same thing happens to real estate investing same thing happens in martial arts so your willingness to suffer is going to discriminate you from the, the herd or from the average people um, now let me show you what I mean by willingness to suffer in my own personal life today is Sunday you know I don't have any water I've shut off my water I've shut off my electricity and if I want to take a shower I would have to come to a gym like 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 I'm doing right now and I if you guys see my videos I'll be wearing the same clothes I have basically three pants three shirts that I just cycle through for the winter and that's it and if you look at my sleeves right here look, it's, it's a little dirty if you look at my my clothes they got hair on them and look at my hair I haven't showered this is my it's gonna be my third day today I'm gonna go in there now that sounds pretty crazy people are like oh man why would you want to do this or you know that's this but it's the same exact thing as going to the gym you got to be putting yourself in a situation where you're very uncomfortable that causes pain so you could have an idea because Everything around us is based on ideas, cars, seats, lighters, you know, anything, dude, you know, an idea. And a lot of people have great ideas, but they live in their comfort zone, so they're not willing to take action. Where, right, where if you're uncomfortable, if you if you have a hundred bucks and you're living in your car, like I first started when I started college, I had a college, I had a hundred bucks when I started my moving company, then I started a real estate business, and I got into real estate investing. I was discomfortable. I was willing to suffer. I was willing to live in my car and I was discomfortable. And when I got an idea and I was discomfortable, it was like a rocket ship, dude, just gone. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was able to turn a hundred bucks into a little something. Um, and the same thing now, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 40 years old and I'm still willing to suffer, you know? And what does that mean? Like everything I love, like I love working out, but I had to put it on the back side because I had other things to take care of, you know, which is chase my dream and be a public speaker. The same exact thing happened when I was in high school. High school, I worked out like crazy. College, I worked out like crazy, like seven days a week, no days off. And then I had to let go of that. I had to suffer. I had to let go of something I really, really love, you know, to go pursue on your entrepreneurship. And I didn't get to work out for fucking seven years, man. I really love working out. I went to college and studied how to work out. Um, so what am I trying to say? If you're not willing to suffer, if you're not ha what I call volunteer suffering, dude, I think I said it wrong earlier, but volunteer suffering. If you're not willing to vol volunteer suffering for your goals, your dreams, then the probability of you having success is so little, no matter if people give you the fucking money, no, no matter if there's private lenders, private money, hard money, no matter what, dude, you're gonna fucking 90%, 95%, if not higher, fail, fail. Because 
when the things get hard, you don't know what to do because you haven't gone through hardship, okay? And you don't know how to believe your gut instinct because when you're suffering and you know what you want out of life, ideals will come into you. Like I had a video about uh, this book called Power Versus Force. So take a look at that because there's an infinite intelligence out there. And if you're in tune and you're positive and you're hungry and, and, and you're willing to put yourself in hardship, discomfort so you can grow, boom, you can catch an idea and then boom, if you're willing to implement it, go all in without an exit strategy. Like I don't have an exit strategy. I'm, I don't have no water, no electricity. I want to be a public speaker. I want to work for fucking free. I want to volunteer for suffering volunteer for suffering and I'm happy about it dude I'm not bitching or anything at the same time I'm still, still trying to change your life so you can do better stuff out there so guys if you like these videos please like please share please tell your friends and family see you later gang